hello guys welcome back to the channel in the previous video we have learned how we can install Vue.js and in, in our laravel application so in this video we are going to learn how we can install Vue router and how we can use it so let's start by opening the terminal and in here let's type npm install Vue-router to download the router package for us okay the installation is finished now let's go inside our resource folder js and in here i will create a new folder with the name of pages in here i will create my home page and give it a name of home dot view inside here i will create a template and create a div inside the div for now i will just create a h1 tag and say home page i will create one more by the name of about dot view in here i will again write template inside here a div and inside the div h1 tag and about page so our pages are ready now let's create our route.js file for that in the js folder i will create a new file with the name of routes.js and in here i will import my two components import home from pages slash home and also i will import about from pages slash about and let's fix this one also now in here i will create the routes for this too so i will type export default and open an array inside this array I will type path which is a URL and in here with I will say when the user type this show him the home component so I will type component colon home sorry home and another route I will type for the about so when I will say when the user type this in the URL, show him the about component or about page. Now uh, let's go to our app.js. Let's clear here uh, so it will be easy to understand. Let's remove all the comments. Okay, so it's clean now first thing i will do is i will import the routes i will type import routes from dot slash routes and after that i will type i will import create router to create my routes and create web history from view router now let's uh, configure it so i will create a new below this i will type const router is equal to create router and inside here i will create an object and type history colon create web history and also routes then below this i will say app dot use router okay it's done now let's go to our view folder and inside our welcome page in here in state of example component that we have used in pre our previous video in here i will type nav and in here router dash link to is equal to 
slash so this is a, our first link if we, in pure html if we type a h e r f is equal to this uh, this is the html but if in the view we will write it like this so now let's save home let's remove this and let's create one more link here for our for our about component so i will type about and this one about also now after the nav i will type router dash view and close the tag so again in the pure html when we want to want a user to go from one page to another page we will type a tag like this a grf home like this in uh, view we, we will write it like this now let's go to our browser okay as you guys can see our uh, view is working now let's check our routes so if i click about i am redirected to about page and but if i click to home i will be redirected to home page but there is a problem if uh, the user type here about as you guys can see we get not found 404 not found to fix this problem in my vs code inside routes in the routes folder web.php at the end of the routes i will type route colon colon gate slash and as a parameter i will type any then i will call up callback function in here i will type return view welcome and at the end of this route i will type where any dot star and at the end semicolon now i don't need any uh, other route so i will delete everything and save now let's go to back to browser okay the page is loaded so if i click home it show me the home page and if i click about it will show me the about page and if the user type here home enter it will show we direct him back to the home page so uh, if i the user type here about it will redirect him back to the about so now every all of my routes are being monitored by Vue.js.